Oh, yeah, baby. That is some funky music, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another live stream here in the Digital Mavericks Facebook group. My name is Troy Dean. I'm going to be your host for the next 20 to 30 minutes or so. And uh, if you can see my face and hear my voice, and this is all working, please leave me a comment in underneath here so I know that it's working because, you know, sometimes weird stuff happens and uh, it doesn't work. So please let me know that it's working. I'm, uh, I'm, whoop, here we go. I'm trying to track this in the group and it actually, there we go. Now it's looking like it's working. Um, great. Okay, yes, it's it's updated now. So please let me know that this is working in the group. Just having a couple of tech issues here. Eric Rounds, woohoo! Thanks for all you do, Troy. Thank you, Eric. Thanks for being a part of it. Eric, of course, is in our recurring revenue accelerator program, and uh, is grinding in the true term, the true definition of the word. I, I uh, let me start that again. Is hustling and grinding in what I believe is the true definition of the word. That is, he's not working eighteen hours a day until your eyes bleed, like some people would tell us to do. No, no, no. He's just not giving up. That's the definition of hustling and grinding as far as I'm concerned. It's got nothing to do with the dating apps. I'm not talking about that at all. I'm talking about just not giving up. I'm talking about bringing your A game to everything you do and just not quitting. Hey, David Walsh is here. Anna Booth is also in the house. And boy, oh boy, have I got some words to share with you about Anna Booth. Woo-hoo. Stick around. Things are going to get very, very interesting Indeed. All right. Hey, today we are talking about how to produce unlimited leads. That's right. Unlimited leads. The number one conversation that I've had over the last 11 years, I think, that I've been doing this now. I started this business back in 2013. In fact, uh, it was the end of May 2013 that we started our very first membership website called WP Elevation. And we had about 55 WordPress developers or consultants or whatever you call them back then join our membership. Uh, and we started a conversation which is still going 10 years, 11 years later. And the number one question that I've been asked over those last 11 years, and I speak on behalf of the coaches here as well, uh, Johnny, Tim, Jen, Tom, Simon Kelly, Adam Silverman, everyone who's helped out over the years and our client success managers, Anna and Jane, the whole team here, the number one question that we've been asked over the years is, how do I get more leads? How do I get more leads? And frankly, it's, um, I wanted to, I'm bored of that conversation. It's the wrong question to be asking. And I'm going to, uh, I'm going to tell you why. Because the, there are, there's a couple of practical things that I'm going to cover in this live uh, show. So please make some notes and get ready. But I just want to talk about the way that you think first, right? I went to the gym this morning and if I walk into that gym and look around and go, wow, how do you get guns like that? How do you get biceps like that, right? I could stand there for an hour and spend my entire gym session looking at other blokes' biceps going, wow, he looks pretty good with those tats and those guns, doesn't he? How do you get biceps like that? And I'm going to walk out of there and my biceps are never going to change because I'm focused on the wrong thing. I'm focused on what's called a lagging indicator. I'm focused on the byproduct. I'm focused on the outcome of activities and uh, actions that that gentleman has taken or that that lady has taken in order to get the guns that we all want, right? Well, maybe you don't, I do. And so the right question to ask, instead of I want guns like that, how do I get guns like that? The right question to ask is what do I need to do right now to move towards that? What can I do to move towards that. The first thing you can do is stop looking at him and pick up some dumbbells and start doing some bicep curls. Right? That's the first thing you can do. Then you can probably increase your protein intake, uh, reduce your carbs, come back tomorrow and do it again, and then come back tomorrow and do it again, and come back tomorrow and do it again. And eventually your biceps will grow. 
right? So the lagging indicator is a byproduct of actions that someone's taken. The reason that someone looks great, the reason that someone has a great body is because they are taking actions that lead to that outcome. So instead of asking, hey, how do we get leads? I need leads, 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 leads. Uh, the, the, I think the more useful question to ask would be, what do I need to do in order to attract people into my world, right? And start conversations with people that then could potentially lead to them becoming a client. And so what I'm gonna cover, so, so from now on, let me just say this, from now on, there is an embargo on using the word leads in this group. No one is allowed to come in this group and say, I need leads. How do we get leads? Not allowed to use the word leads, okay? The better, qu you, what you are allowed to ask is, what do I need to do to start more conversations with people in the hope that they'll become clients? What do I need to do to attract more people into my world so I can start a conversation with them? You're allowed to say that, but you're not allowed to say, how do I get leads? And I think the reason that everyone asks for leads and everybody wants leads is because we've been brainwashed over the years by the people who sell us software and courses on how to get leads to believe that that's our problem. Oh, if only I had more leads, right, then I'd have more sales and I'd have more money. That's not true. Absolutely not true. If you don't have a process for starting a conversation with someone and taking them on a journey and, and then hopefully onboarding them into the right product or service that you've got that you know can actually help them. If you don't have that process worked out and you're just winging it, then leads are not your problem, right? In fact, leads, I remember speaking on stage at an event when I first started out in front of 250 small business owners. Thank you very much, Dale Beaumont at Business Blueprint. He used to invite me up to his events to speak. And it was great back then because I was, you know, I thought this is going to be fantastic. I know a little bit of stuff about digital marketing and I put together this presentation called the Online Marketing Blueprint. This was way back in the day. This is about 2012, I reckon. And, um, and I spoke in front of 250 small business owners and they were nine, ten people deep afterwards lining up to have their photo taken with me and tell me how wonderful I was. I came back to Melbourne with a little backpack full of business cards and I looked at the business cards. I thought, what do I do with these? What do I do? Of course, by the time I emailed people the next week or called them, they're like, oh, I've, we've, we're fine, we're okay, we've moved on. I had no process. I had no system. There was no standard operating procedure for having conversations and uncovering what people need and then onboarding them as a client, right? It was a complete waste of time and money and effort on my behalf because I was a clown and didn't know what I was doing. So just got very busy doing all the wrong stuff because I didn't have a process. I had lots of leads because I'd been up on stage and spoken and attracted a lot of people to me but didn't have a process then to follow them up and convert them, right? So what I'm going to cover in this – so what I want you to focus on now is – what is the activity that I can undertake that will produce people coming to me, that will produce leads? I use the word leads in the title of this live stream because I knew you'd all respond to it, right? However, what we, you don't actually want leads is you want people coming to you to start a conversation. So what I'm going to do now is walk you through uh, the, the process to create unlimited leads, to produce unlimited leads. Now, it, now I can tell you something. I just want to talk about the channel because everyone says, well, what do I do? Do I run Facebook ads? Do I post content on my Facebook profile? Do I go all in on Instagram? Do I start a TikTok? Do I start a YouTube channel? Do I start a podcast? Do I join BNI? Do I hang out in Slack groups and just be super helpful? It doesn't matter. All of those things will work if, if you follow the process that I'm going to walk you through now. However, I will say this. Don't try and do all of those things at the same time. Just pick one channel that you are really comfortable with, right? Pick one channel that you're really comfortable with and just get really good at using that one channel to attract people into your world and start conversations. Now, 
Facebook ads, by the way, are great for generating a name, email, and a phone number that you can then start a conversation with. But again, if you don't have a process for continuing that conversation, you're just going to waste your money. So in my experience, if I had to pick one channel, if I lost everything tomorrow and woke up and no one knew who I was and I didn't have a name and I didn't have a business and I had no money and all I had was my laptop and maybe I had $1,000 to start, I would run Facebook lead ads and I would start building a list of names and email addresses of people that were interested in what I was putting out, following what I'm about to show you now. And then I would use email to continue that conversation and get people on a call and onboard them as a client. That's what I would do, right? Because that's my target audience and that's what I'm comfortable doing. I would use video. I would put content out on Facebook. I would use Facebook lead ads to build a list and then I would use emails to have that conversation and get on a call and convert people into a client. That's what I would do if I was starting again from scratch. You might decide that YouTube, like Ryan Matthews, the funnel architect, uh, who's one of our clients, you might decide that YouTube is what you're going to do and you just might do breakdowns and teardowns of other people's funnels and use that to generate leads, right? Or conversations, whatever. It doesn't matter. Just pick one channel and go all in on that channel. Don't try and do too much at once because you'll freak yourself out and you won't do any of it very well because you'll be spinning too many plates. So having said all of that, here are the elements that you need to be able to attract people to you and start a conversation. Uh, now, here we go. There it is. Look at that. woo It's working. So the first thing that you need in any kind of campaign or any kind of activity, so remember, the channel doesn't matter. Let's just pretend that you're going to do good old-fashioned content marketing and you're going to share content on your Facebook profile, which works, by the way. I do this all the time. I have people reach out to me in Messenger every single day wanting to have a conversation with us because I put content out on Facebook and I'm not even that consistent at it, to be honest. I was doing it more a few months ago. I've dropped off a little bit because I'm busy and I forget. But let's just pretend you're just going to put content out on your Facebook profile and use that to build an audience and attract people to you. The very first thing you need is what I call the big idea, right? Because if you're a web design or an SEO or a digital marketing agency and you start posting about, you know, the fact that I build high converting websites, I'm sorry, but nobody cares and you're probably not going to get much response to that because there's nothing new there, okay? There's no big idea there. There's absolutely no big idea, right? It's, uh, it's kind of irrelevant. Nobody cares. Everyone's heard it all before. Okay? So uh, I'm having a little bit of a, a problem with uh, Ecamm here at the moment. It just won't get out of the bloody way. There we go. I want to make sure we're still live. Okay. So don't um, – uh, don't. there we go, Thomas. Thank you for joining in. Uh, don't be posting – Right? Your big idea is not that you build high converting websites. Your big idea is not that you do SEO. Your big idea is not that you can help people get traffic from Google. Your big idea is not that you can, oh, Jesus, whatever the thing is, nobody cares, right? What is the big idea? What is the big idea that is new and that they haven't heard before, right? Our big idea that we know works is that you can add seven figures a year in recurring revenue to your agency by adding a very simple product to the front end of your agency called a digital roadmap, otherwise known as paid discovery, right? Now, there's a whole conversation here because I can tell you right now, 99% of agency owners that we talk to actually don't want to add seven figures a year in recurring revenue to their agency because it requires too much responsibility and they just don't want that. So whatever, that's totally fine. There's no judgment here. But if you do want to grow your revenue, your recurring revenue dramatically, adding a digital product, also known as paid discovery, to the front end of your agency as the first thing people buy makes a massive difference, right? That's our big idea. Our big idea is stop selling your services, right? I've been saying this for 
I don't know, a long time, close to 10 years. I'm sure if you went back to some of the old content, the WP Elevation Vault, you'd find me saying this. If you want to make serious money as a web designer, stop selling websites, right? Because they're a commodity and they have been for a long time. So what is the big idea? What is your big idea? Let me just brainstorm some ideas off the top of my head. If you are in the business of doing SEO, one campaign that I've seen work pretty well is how to get more customers from Google without spending any more money on ads. Right, I'm intrigued about this, right? There's a hidden gem within Google that allows you to get more customers for free. There's a hidden treasure within Google that allows you to get more customers for free and it doesn't take months like traditional SEO, right? Now, of course, when people get on a call to find out what it's all about, you reveal that you're using Google My Business to get them, this works for local business, using Google My Business to get them more local customers because that's the low-hanging fruit. You just don't talk about Google My Business on the front end right? Because nobody cares. No one would respond to that. If you're in the business of Facebook advertising for clients, uh, you might talk about the invisible audience that every business has access to because of these great, big, massive uh, algorithm-driven companies in Silicon Valley. Every single business on the planet has access to an invisible audience that they can tap into to grow their audience and grow their sales overnight, right? Now, of course, that invisible audience is uh, putting up videos on Facebook and everyone who watches more than five seconds of one of those videos or three seconds of one of those videos drops into a custom audience in Facebook called a video view audience, right? We do this every single day of the week. It's why we publish videos on Facebook. It's very, very cheap to get a three-second video view and what, what that means, three seconds, by the way, what that means is I'm scrolling and I stop. I'm scrolling. No, no. Oh, Nate Bogutzi is doing his stand-up routine. I stop and I watch for three seconds and I keep scrolling. All of a sudden, I'm pixeled. Nate knows that I've watched his video, right? So now they can retarget me. Now, if I went out to market and go, you can build video view audiences and Facebook ads and blah, 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 there's a bunch of people that are like, oh, I've tried that shit, it doesn't work. But if I talk about the invisible audience that every small business owner has access to because of these big tech companies in Silicon Valley, right, well, chances are that's going to book more calls than talking about running Facebook video view campaigns, right? So what is your big idea? What is the big idea that your campaign, that your content, that your outreach is going to hang off. Please don't send those, oh, fuck. Please don't send those. It's so painful. I'm sorry. I just, please don't send those emails that say, hi, Paul, I was on your website and I found some things that are broken and I made a video and I wanted to make sure you're the right person to send it to. Don't do that. Even if I told you to, don't do that. It doesn't work, right? God's sake, please just stop doing that. Please, for the, for the love of the email gods and the internet itself, please stop doing that shit. You're annoying people, right? What is your big idea? And if you don't have one, then brainstorm. And also... By the way, we are going to give away, if you keep watching here, we're going to give away a workbook, one of the most unbelievably outstanding, useful, comprehensive workbooks I've ever seen in my life, right, built by Anna Booth. Last night, I was sitting home last night and thought, oh, shit, I better make some slides for tomorrow's call. And Anna pings me in Slack and says, oh, I made a thing based on a conversation I've had with Troy a few times now. I'm not sure if this is useful and she shows me this workbook that is we should sell this thing for thousands of dollars by the way it is so useful it is a collection in fact I'm so nervous about giving it away for free but I'm actually not that nervous because I know most people aren't going to do anything with it it's just 
the nature of the beast. I've been coaching people for long enough to know now that most people just aren't going to do anything with it. So that's fine. I'm happy to give it to you for free. Uh, maybe you can print it out and use it as a placemat at the dinner table. I don't care what you do with it. But if you go through it and take action, this workbook in itself could add seven figures a year to your business, right? So uh, we're going to give that away very shortly and I'm going to show you a little bit inside it and then I'll tell you what to do to get your hands on it, okay? <laughs> After I told everyone uh, not to use the word leads. In fact, I'm going to change my strategy right here live on the call. So let's say we've now got our big idea. What is the big idea? Every successful marketing or outreach campaign needs two things. Now that you've got your big idea, you need to understand the who and the what that your campaign, that your marketing, that your content is designed to do, right? The who and the what that your, that your campaign answers. And so when I talk about this, when I say the who, I'm talking about your target audience. And I just want to say this again, I'm not talking about a vertical. I'm not talking about accountants or plumbers or home contractors or solar companies or lawyers, right? Yes, they are target audiences, but they're not the only target audience. Your target audience, they're, they're what we call verticals. They're what we call industry verticals, okay? Your target audience could be a demographic, 40-year-old male executives who are terrified of getting fat, right? Because they sit on their ass all day and answer emails. That is a target audience, right? If you are an online personal trainer, you should, by the way, if you're an online personal trainer and you're watching this, I think you're in the wrong group, you're a bit lost, you should move on. But if you are an online personal trainer or you're an agency that serves online personal trainers, what you should be doing is stop selling personal training and start selling body transformations, right? Or start selling dad bod preventions or dad bod interventions, right? Or dad bod killers, right? That's what you should be selling because that's what people want. Nobody wants a personal trainer. That's a pain in the ass. It's expensive and it's going to hurt, okay? But that's the vehicle they need to get what they actually want. So who is your target audience and what do they want? Who is your target audience and what do they want? By the way, the best way to figure this out is not to go into a dark room and do deep thinking with Brain FM on and brainstorm lots of ideas with ChatGPT. The best way to figure this out, you guessed it, is to pick up the phone and talk to some real humans who you think might be your target audience. In fact, in the workbook, in the workbook, there is a whole exercise. It's unbelievable what we're giving you in this workbook. It's just ridiculous, really. I mean, I don't even know why we're doing it. Um, it's just crazy. And there's a whole exercise to go through to figure, figure out your who and, and, and your what. Who are you and what do you want? I, our who is web design, SEO and digital marketing agency owners, right? What do they want? They want, well, really, what do they want? They want an automatic business. That's what they want. They want a, an agency that runs on autopilot, right? The, the thing that's going to get them that is recurring revenue. More recurring revenue allows you to hire better people. Better people fix your processes and do better work and then you have an automatic business, okay? Someone should grab that as a snippet and we should use it as a video view ad. That was a bit of gold right there. So uh, that's who we serve and that's what they want. Who do you serve and what do they want? Who do you serve? That can be an industry vertical. It can be a demographic. In other words people of a similar age, gender, physical location, whatever, right? Or uh, it can be a psychographic target audience, people who want the same thing, right? Marketing managers who work in a growing business who have all these ideas and have no internal team to help them implement. They're a great target audience because they're super frustrated. They're really ambitious but they're super frustrated because they can't execute and they need to outsource to an agency, right? So... Who is your target audience and what do they want? Uh, here we go. And then, so we've, we've, now let's just backtrack here. We've got a big idea. We've got a big idea for our campaign. We know who our target audience is. We know what they want, right? We know what they desire. 
right, because we've had conversations with them and they've told us and so we can articulate what they want in their words, I can tell you that agency owners want, uh, thank you, Sam, I'm not sure who proficient info is, but anyway, um, they, uh, agency owners want, as I said, they want an automatic business, they want a, they want a business that runs on its own, right, uh, they want their team to do all of the implementation. Uh, they don't want to be overwhelmed. They want to grow their recurring revenue. They want more profit. They want to do good work for good clients and know that they're doing work that matters in the world. They want their team to be happy, right? And uh, they they want a profitable agency without the headache. That's I mean, that's what most small business owners want, but that's specifically what digital agency owners want. And I know because I've spoken to thousands of them over the last 11 years, right? So once you understand those uh, three things, the big idea, the who and the what, the next thing, which is maybe the most difficult, but we'll brainstorm some ideas, is you need a unique mechanism that promises to give the who the what and is tied in with the big idea, okay? Let me explain after I have some aqua to quench the throat. So the big idea in our world is that you should stop selling services. If you're an agency owner, so let me just, let me just pull this all together, right? If you're a digital agency owner, that's the who, and you want to grow your recurring revenue by another seven figures a year, that's the what, then you need to stop selling services. That's the big idea, which is kind of weird and radical and controversial and opinionated and intriguing. What the hell is he talking about? And instead, add a low ticket, low risk product to the front end of your agency called a digital roadmap. That's our unique mechanism, right? Now, once we're on a call with someone, we walk them through, that's also known as paid discovery. Here's how it works. Here's the social proof, right? This is what it's all about. Now, these elements of a unique mechanism that ties in with the big idea and gives the who the what it is they want, that in itself, the combination of those ingredients is what will attract unlimited leads to you, unlimited leads, doesn't matter what channel, more leads than you can talk to, right? I, I promise you, it doesn't matter what channel you choose, right? Well, actually, <clears throat> that's a lie. It does. If you're targeting, I don't know, nursing homes, you might not want to be on TikTok, but who knows? I don't know. I could be wrong about these things, right? So you probably want to target, choose a channel where you're target audience where your who are hanging out, which is why I spend a lot of time on Facebook because that's where my audience spends most of their time. So you do want to try and find an audience that makes sense, uh, find a channel that makes sense for your audience. But uh, once you've found that channel, it really doesn't matter, okay? There's, there's multiple channels for your target audience. Just pick one and then just say these things over and over and over and over and over again. What is your big idea? right? Uh, who are you talking to? What do they want? And how does your unique mechanism help them get what they want? Because what happens then is people will be so intrigued by what it is you're offering and what it is you're saying that they will reach out to you. This happens every day of the week. Okay. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, the, uh, I'm just going to go back to, go back to this screen here. And then I'm just going to show you the unbelievably crazy workbook that Anna Booth uh, has built with a little help, uh, I'm led to believe, uh, with a little bit of help from Max Jeffcott. Now, if I come back here, here we go. How to produce unlimited leads. This is the workbook that will help you do the work you need to come up with the answers to all of these questions. And I promise you, if you go through this workbook, and fill it in and put it into action, 
This thing could generate, I'm not joking, this thing could generate seven figures in new annual recurring revenue to your agency in the next 365 days, right? Now, if you want our help with this, just get on a call and have a chat with our team about how we can help you and hold your hand every step of the way and give you one-on-one mentoring to get this done. But if you want to do it yourself, here's the workbook. I'm just going to walk you through the workbook, then I'm going to tell you how to get it. How to produce unlimited leads, okay? Uh, The big idea, okay? Apple's big idea was to position their brand as the choice for individuals who value creativity and non-conformity. Instead of focusing on the technical aspects, right? IBM, we're coming out with the ThinkPad. IBM, we're going PCs, think, think, think. IBM and Microsoft had this great relationship and they were owning the personal computing PC. That's what PC stands for. They were owning the personal computing market. And Steve Jobs came along and went, we don't do that. We're a little bit different to you guys and we talk a bit different. In fact, we're grammatically incorrect. We say think different, not think differently. We say think different. Fantastic campaign, right? one of the most successful campaigns of all time. Instantly put a flag in the sand and said, the big idea is we think different to you. So much so that we don't even talk in proper English. Uh, so what is the big idea? Understand your audience uh, and do the work here to understand who your audience are and the problems that they have, right? Um some interesting examples in there. Uh, what do they desire? By the way, this is tra- this is th- these worksheets are taken straight out of our some of our flagship courses. The Godfather Method sells for a thousand dollars on our website every day of the week. This is a worksheet taken straight out of that. We're giving it away to you for free, which is crazy. Uh, where are your audience stuck? What are the roadblocks they have? Right. Summarize your who onto a uh, ideal client avatar sheet like this, so that you can look at them and understand who they are right? Flesh them out. Understand what it is they want, like what it is they want, right? Define the core offer based around what they want and align it with their needs. Lots of uh, examples here for you to work through, okay? And lots of worksheets for you to come up with ideas. And then craft your campaign and your offer around your unique mechanism. So our offer at the moment is add a million dollars in annual recurring revenue guaranteed. It's a crazy offer, right? We've done it before. We can do it again. Uh, where to put your offer. So this gives you some ideas on some of the channels that you can use, right? b and personal social media, ads, podcast, right? And when to use it if you want to attract people outside of your network. This is, you know, cold email outreach, paid advertising, guest blogging, expanding your reach. If you want to get to your own network, then you might do some uh, warmer kind of things like, you know, referrals, partnerships, collaborations, uh, b and networking events, podcasts, Okay. Uh, checklist here for paid ads. This comes straight out of our 48 hour leads training. It's ridiculous. It's so, I mean, it's crazy that we're giving this away. Uh, what to do with the leads when they come in, pre-qualify them, put them on a quick triage call, right? Uh, and then sell them paid discovery, right? Otherwise known as a digital roadmap. Now, if you want this workbook, which I don't even, it's stupid that we're giving it away, right? It just doesn't make any sense whatsoever that we're giving this away for free, but we are. If you want this workbook, all you need to do is leave a comment underneath this live stream with the word workbook, not leads, workbook in the comments and Natalie will be here shortly and she will go through the comments and make sure that she connects with you. Look out for Natalie Vlack, V-L-A-C-H. Natalie Vlack will ping you in Messenger. So make sure you check your other folder, right? your chat request folder, and Natalie will hook you up with the workbook. Fill it in. If you've got questions, come back into the group and ask those questions. If you want us to do this with you, not for you, because we're not a done-for-you service provider, we are a mentoring company, we mentor agencies one-on-one. If you want our help, just book a time to chat with our team. You just go to chat.agencymavericks.com and book a time to chat with our team. Actually, I think that's the wrong link. I think it's Synergy. Uh, Anna will put a link in the comments here. It's synergy.agencymavericks.com. Just book a time to chat with our team and we'll see if we can help you. Um, If you want to come and do this live, come to Mavcon in San Diego in October. We are running our live event in San Diego, October 14, 15, and 16. And we're going to be working through this stuff live in the room, right? 
Come along and hang out with myself and the coaches. Johnny Flash will be there. Thomas Amos is coming in from the UK. Tim Kelsey's coming in from Thailand. I think we're going to try and convince Adam Silverman to drive his tractor from uh, Nashville. Uh, so come along and hang out uh, at uh, the Spring Hill Suites by Marriott, downtown San Diego, opposite the water. Freaking beautiful venue. Great part of the world. I love it so much. Come and hang out uh, for three days, October 14, 15, 16. There's a handful of tickets left. It will sell out. We've got some amazing partners coming along to that event. Of course, E2M will be there in the room. So if you need any help with development or care plans or uh, SEO, they're a white label partner of ours that will be there to help you get connected. Of course, uh, Convicio will also be in the room. My good friends Tom and Zach from Convicio and their team will be in the room if you have any questions about uh, WordPress hosting or WooCommerce or security or scaling hosting with some, you know, if you've got clients with serious traffic and you need uh, a serious hosting environment that can handle that kind of scale, then Convicio are the guys to talk to. They also manage a Slack channel, one of our private Slack channels for our Mavericks Club members. They manage a Slack channel where they provide support for WordPress, WooCommerce, hosting, security and scalability Uh, all part of the Mavericks uh, membership. So if you want to have a chat with our team about how we can help you get this stuff done instead of you trying to figure it out yourself, just jump on a call and uh, chat with uh, the team. It's not a sales pitch. We offer uh, offer guaranteed return on investment, right? So So let me just explain this. If you work with us, we guarantee that you'll make your money back, right? So we're not incentivized in any way to sell you something that's not going to work because then we just have to, you know, keep working for 100 years for free to make sure you get your money back. So that's, you know, most people we talk to, uh, it doesn't, it, we're not right. So there's no hard sales pitch. Most people we talk to, we're not a good fit. We just can't help you. So, but no harm in asking the question and having a chat with our team to see if you're a good fit. If you want the workbook, leave the comment workbook uh, in the comment, the word workbook in the comments here as people are. Natalie will be here shortly and she'll go through these comments and she'll reach out to you. Natalie Vlack is who you're looking for. She'll reach out to you and give you the workbook. All right. And thanks, Anna. Anna has put a link there to book a call with Andres uh, on our team. He's based in the States, so he'll have a chat with you and see if we're a good fit. Uh, Hey, this has been super fun. I hope this has been helpful for you. Remember, there's an embargo on using the word leads. Yeah, I ain't not allowed to use the word leads anymore in this group. I don't know what that accent was. You're not allowed to use the word leads anymore in this group. Uh, It's a lagging indicator. Focus on the leading indicator. Focus on the activities that will produce leads, all right? Keep the conversation going. I look forward to seeing you again next week here for another live show in the Digital Mavericks Facebook group. My name is Troy Dean. Let's get to work.